42-39, the Titans win at home at Nissan Stadium. Uh, it was a signature play for Marcus Mariota that got it done in the fourth quarter. Uh, just thinking about some of the recent big finishes for the Titans at home. Uh, 2012, an overtime victory against the Lions. Darius Raynaud and, and Tommy Campbell had a big special teams play. I think of the 2006 60-yard field goal by Rob Baronis against the Colts. Uh, Vince Young and the comeback that the Titans had to win 24-21 against Eli Manning and the Giants where Matthias Kiwanuka had in his grasp VY and some for whatever reason let him go Vince ends up picking up a, a, a big play after that and then yesterday I thought was a, a signature moment that we'll all think about moving forward with this Titans organization Marcus Mariota 87 yards to the house in the fourth quarter to give the Titans the lead once again and Mariota spoke with reporters after the game about that play and the Titans big win good afternoon Congratulations. Thank you. About the, uh, the run, Marcus, how that, that play unfolded and, and kind of what you saw as the, the play went through? Well, first and foremost, um, those guys up front did a good job of, you know, blocking and giving me some time. <clears throat> you know, I was going through my progressions. Um, I thought Jacksonville did a good job of covering it and um, kind of saw a seam and, um, you know, again, guys, you know, the receivers did a good job of blocking downfield and, and kind of gave me an opportunity to, to finish it. Marcus, how does it feel to finally get your first home win? Oh, it's great. Um, you know, it, it's it's special. Um, you know, and again, it, it's all the credit to the guys in the locker room. I mean, working hard week in and week out. Um, you know, it's nice to see it rewarded. And, um, you know, hopefully this will build upon, um, you know, a lot of good games here. Was it on you at all, Marcus? Was it on the team at all, the fact that you guys lost three more games? No, not at all. You know, I... It, if you add more pressure onto onto yourself, um, guys tend to play up tight. And I think, um, you know, our main objective today was to just to go out there and take it one play at a time. Um, you know, good good or bad, you know, those things will happen. Um, just kind of take it as it comes. And, um, you know, again, proud of those guys in the locker room and glad we were able to pull it out. Reminds a little bit of a Pac-12 game with all the scoring back and forth. You know, it was a great game. Um, you know, our defense made a, a key stop at the end, and that's all that matters. And, um, you know, it, it's it's fun to play in those. And, um, you know, glad we were able to end up on the other side of some of these. Well, like you said, some guys indicated to him they felt it was important to win for him and especially to get a win for him against the team that he, he coached. Had there been a little bit of talk about that? And what's it like uh, based on what he's done since he's been here to, to give him the home win? Oh, I mean, I, Coach Malarkey's done a great job since he stepped in. And, um, you know, for, for us to get a win um, for him, especially at home against uh, one of his former teams, um, you know, it's, 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 it's good and, um, you know, it's rewarding. And, uh, again, I can't say enough about what these guys have done week in and week out, to kind of stay in the course and um, trusting the process that these coaches have put in. And, um, you know, it's only one game. But, you know, it does mean a lot to us, and we're glad we're able to kind of get this win, and hopefully we can build upon this um, for the rest of the year. Did you say anything to, to Doyle after his drop that resulted in interception, and how did you like how he responded to that? Uh, you know, he, he's, he's got the physical gift, and, um, you know, if, I hope this game gives him, you know, all, all the confidence in the world um, because he can do that week in and week out. And, um, you know, he did a great job of keeping his head. Um, you know, for us, I mean, for the most part, it, we didn't say much to him. I think he, he was able to kind of keep his cool and, um, you know, was able to make big plays. Marcus, for you, after the sack and the fumble, how important was it to, to, to bounce back the way you did with the touchdown run? Yeah, you know, it, it was important because uh, we needed to kind of, you know, get things going and, and get uh, get ahead, really. Um, you know, they... Those guys have done a great job all year of strip sacks, and um, you know they got me there. And um, you know it was good for us to kind of continue to build our rhythm and, and get that touchdown. How satisfying is it, Marcus? You guys have come close a number of times this year, and just found sort of found a way to lose in the end. How satisfying is it to kind of turn that around today? And, and what do you think went into that in the fourth quarter? Yeah, it's a huge win. Um, anytime you you're able to win in the National Football League, it's a big deal. 
And, um, you know, unfortunately, we've been on, you know, the opposite side of some of these. And, um, you know, it, it should give these guys, you know, the utmost confidence because we're able to finish today. And, um, again, hopefully it's something we can build off of for the rest of the year. And, um, you know, just take it again one day at a time and see what, see what happens. On the 87-yard run, at what point did you think I can score on this play? Well, I got to the 50-yard line and was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. So <laughs> I was, I was kind of looking around and, um, you know, felt, felt that there was a lot of space. And um, Kendall had a huge block at the end of that. Um, you know, DGB was able to clip a guy, make a play, and, and Harry did a good job of just, just keeping with his guy. So, again, those guys did a great job of, of blocking downfield. And, um, you know, we we're very fortunate to finish that. Coach said, and, and other people have, have said in the locker room, you're as healthy as you have been. Now that you're as healthy as you have been, tradition in the NFL kind of let us know how bad it was uh, before, <laughs> how, how much we slowed down by. Uh, you know, I'll never, <laughs> I'll never, I'll never use an injury as an excuse. Um, you know, guys week in and week out have to play with. You know, a lot of things. And, um, you know, it's a part of this profession. So, um, you know, it, it is what it is. And, um, you know, I'll continue to get healthy. And, you know, if we, uh, as the season progresses, I'll be, I'll be full go. Was there any anticipation from you that as things got better, you knew kind of the envelope would expand and you'd be able to do some of the things like you did today? Yeah, you know, but again, it, it all depends on what the defenses are, are trying to do. And um, today, Jacksonville gave me an opportunity to run around a little bit, and um, you know, we were able to find some success with that. But well, on the play in the first half, only a few seconds left, lining up and running for. Oh, I love, I loved it. I love the call. Um, you know, at first we were all looking, and everyone in the huddle was like, okay, we're, we're kicking a field goal. Then they sent out the new personnel. I was like, okay, sounds good to me. Um, you know, and that's awesome because um, I think it, it really set the tone uh, for the game, and um, you know, it was a huge run by, by Antonio. What are you guys doing better on third downs today, Mark? It's kind of been a struggle some games in the past. What was it? I think it really started with first and second down. Um, you know, we made third down a lot more manageable, and, um, you know, guys – Made made plays in the back end, and um, we were able to kind of keep keep drives going and, and build rhythm. And um, you know, hopefully, we can build upon that and, and use that, uh, you know, going forward. You see, look back at the season, each game that you've lost, there seems to be a moment where there's adversity, and you guys didn't hurdle that. You had a number of them in this one, and you had an answer each time. What was the difference? I think guys just just trusted each other. Um, you know, we had been in these situations before, and um, you know, we we just found a way to win. And um, you know, as the season goes on, you know, it's, it's always going to come down to the fourth quarter, and you know, we're going to have to continue to find ways to do that. And um, you know, today was a, a good step forward. That run was 87. Last guy in that locker room in there. Talk about how much lightning meant to you this season, and uh, and then talk about the difference in the run game today. You got to help open up some things for you. Well, Delaney's been, um, you know, an important, critical piece of this team. Um, you know, he leads both on and off the football field, and um, you know what he's been able to do. Um, you know, really says a lot about who he is. And um, you know, we're thankful to have him on our team, and uh, you know, we look forward to having him continue to find success. As it, yeah, the run. I mean, guys up front did a great job. You know. Um, you know, they, they really pushed the line of scrimmage. Um, you know, we were able to kind of win the line of scrimmage, and that helped us out, you know, on the back end in terms of throwing the football. So, um, you know, if we can if we can continue to do that, it'll it'll really help us out. That run was 87 yards. How far back into your football career do you have to go to have one longer than 87 yards? I, you know, I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, I think sometime in college, um, you know, there was some that close, but I don't know if it was that far. Thank you guys. Have a good day.